Beautiful night for hockey. Let's get set to drop the puck. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski. Let's go. Opening face-off is just seconds away. The Riders take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. And they can't connect! Feeds the puck to Bird. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Quick feed to Bruner. Along the half wall with the puck. From the top of the offensive zone here. Can't connect! The crew have taken possession along the wall. Puck exits the zone. Great stick work with the steal. The crew have the puck in their own end. And offside will get a reset here. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Alexis has it in the defensive end. Great reach with the poke check. Moved out in front. And officials right on top of that one, calling for a slashing penalty, it looks like. Here comes the call. Well, a little bit of a confusion there, but that's a penalty, and there'll be one minor call. And the power play unit takes to the ice their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. Well, they certainly hope this game won't be scoreless much longer. Their first chance on the power play. They got their big boys out trying to crack the egg. Crisp's got it to the side. And serves up a little knock on the play. And that pass can't connect. And he regains control of the puck. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Alexis wins the draw. Poked away in the offensive zone by Matthews. The Riders gain possession along the wall. And a great save! Whoa! Scores! How you do it? Whoa! They create that speed and that room off the rush. Great shot beats the goaltender clean. If you can shoot the puck in stride like this, the goalie's gonna have a tough time all the time. They never know when you're gonna deliver it as your feet are moving and all of a sudden the puck's off your stick. Matthews hoping for some puck luck here on this face-off as they continue to play shorthanded. And no luck on that pass attempt. Can't connect on the pass. Rumors up at the box. Can't get it to go. Edmonton's power play is over. What a disaster as they give up a shorthanded goal. They're not going to be too thrilled when they get a look at the film on that power play. Ineffective and, maybe more importantly, they give up the shorthanded goal. Passes right to the front. Well, a challenge being laid here. Alexis is roaming around looking for some... He scores! I believe a colleague of ours likes to call those back-to-back. Yeah, the coaches want you to stay aggressive after you score. They do that, and they're able to put another one up on the board. Pretty clear the goaltender's not expecting this shot. That defensive zone turnover results in this quick shot. Beats the goalie low. Off the trot, look at that move. Moves the puck along the half wall. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Moves the puck up to Bird. And now it's grabbed by McLeod. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And now it's over to Crisp. The Riders carried along the wall. Rocks it on the play. Into the attacking end. And 
and just like that, from out of nowhere, comes up with the punt. Oh, he got huddled by Lehman. He's going to feel like he got robbed. I mean, when he gets in that close, James, it's usually money. Receives the pass. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. Picked off in the offensive end. And that's broken up. Through pass ahead. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. Carries it across the line. Sends it over. Comes up with the stop. Wagner's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. More than half the period has expired. Toronto's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Dupuis got it in the defensive zone. Loves the puck into the offensive zone corner. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Can't get a hold of that pass. Drives it to the crease. Wow. Scores! Anything you can do, I can do better. Wow, that didn't take very long, did it? They give up the one goal, and they go right back down the ice and score. That's really impressive work. I think the goaltender's got to do a better job. There's only one player in front of him. He's got to look around and find the, where the puck is. He never picks it up until it's past him. Here in the late going of the frame, Edmonton's trailing by one. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Good read with the stick to break that up. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Jackson's taking the puck now here inside his own territory. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Manages to hang on. Toronto's got possession of the puck. And just like that comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Trying to get out of the defensive end. And that one's blocked. It stays in. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Takes the shot off the glove. Great four check by McLeod. Looks to get the puck over to Matthews. They've got numbers here. Look out! He scores! Oh, hang on, James. Yeah, puck's in the net. I don't know that this is going to count. Waved oh. off. Play set to resume, and you can see they're still frustrated by that non-goal call. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck off the draw. And that play's broken up. Oh, just wide of the net. It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. Matthews wins it. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Jackson's lugging the puck. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Toronto's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. And puts the body into it, a little bumper car hockey. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Taken by McLeod. Can't find his man. James is tripped up, and we've got a penalty coming up. Let's see the call here. This game weighs heavy on the penalty killer's shoulders now. They're down a goal, and they have to keep it right there. 
as they're short a player now. A chance to capitalize here on the power play. Will be their initial power play of the evening, James. The best power plays, they move the puck and move their feet at the same time. You'll force the penalty killers back a little more defensively than they'd like to be. Chris has been noticeable already here tonight, guys. He's used that zone ability, and it's made him effective and even helped the team score. Alexis wins the draw on their own end. Oh, and the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to do this one over. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Toronto's moving it into the offensive end. Moves it around along the half wall. Shot on the tip. Misses on the redirect. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Couldn't complete the play. The Riders looking against the half wall. McLeod's ready to join the play. From center, they get into the attacking area. Man advantages up. Both teams back to even strength. The only positive for the power play there is they didn't have to skate up and down the ice. They didn't generate anything. They had it in the zone, but really, nothing very good about it. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. James carries the puck in his own zone. Look out, here they come on the attack. Strong defensive effort. And they cough it up at center. Looks to make a play over to Bruner. Matthews is on the attack. Stays with it. We got a penalty coming up here. Quick whistle stops the play. The penalty's called, and right away, the penalty killers stand up. They know the job is theirs to keep this game at a one-goal deficit. Toronto's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. The coaches have been on these guys to get more traffic in front of the goaltender. We'll see if they can do it. Big time stop to the low slot. And that's knocked aside with the stick by McLeod. Oh, what a collision with that hit. Known for this, he doesn't make any mistake. There's the opportunity to lay a body check out, and he's right on it. And that shot dies in traffic. Toronto's got it now. All sorts of pressure, trying to get it out. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Driving right to the front, and that one's turned away. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Matthews will look to win possession here on the faceoff and try to continue this power play on the right note. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Nice job to escape the zone. The Riders gain possession. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. Oh, the power play's about 20%, James. That one falls in the other 80%. They don't get it done. The power play expires. And he's able to handle that one. Pinned up along the boards. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Here's a chance on the attack. Puck scooped up. He scores! That's how you do it. Leadership to a T. The captain capitalizes. Well, if he was about four inches taller, maybe he would have got to that. Desperation effort, but no goal. The Riders have made their way back to center ice and probably breathing a little easier now as they are up by two. You throw that second one in your back pocket, everybody on the bench feels just a little bit better. Moves it to Matthews. Sends a pass over. And that's denied by Wagner. Puck picked up by Alexis. And tries to make a diagonal pass to McLeod. To his teammate. Scores! Oh, what a shot on the one-timer to put it home. The crew have once again made this a hockey game. They're on the hunt now, James. They've cut this lead in half. Now they want to push forward and see if they can equal this up by the end of the period. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Trying just a little bit too much there, foiled on that play. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. A couple of penalties really stresses out the penalty killers. When it's the same guy, he's stressing out everyone else. The Riders send their man advantage unit out once more. 
really doesn't matter if the power play scores before or not in this game, which it hasn't. You've got to focus in on the one that you've got right now. It's time to tee off on this one. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Looking to break out here on the power play. Tries to the crease, and they can't convert to the play. And that's picked off. Drills them. Here's a short pass to James. Snaps it onto the net. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Wagner. Hammers it on net. Stopped by Wagner. It's only a game. Another Why you have to be mad? No surprise here, James. He's been doing this since about 7 o'clock tonight. Time after time. McLeod's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, there's a great stop by Wagner! Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. Great reach with the poke check. Goalie keeps the play alive. Great defensive effort with the strip. for an ad the thesaurus. Oh, uh, you got it. Truculent? Yeah, I know you were ready to fire that up. That is a big hit. And I knew you were digging for that one. And they'll keep on playing as icing is waved off. The Riders look to start the transition game. Here he is, wrestling on net. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here. And we'll come back. Third period action next. They're ready to drop the puck on period number three. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabolski. Let's do this. Here we go. Put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? Edmonton's had such a meager total of shots on goal. Predictably, they haven't scored. They've got to get more pucks to the net. Right in front. Oh! Their bench has a little more relief as they've evened up the score. The good thing he one times his puck, the goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. The Riders win the faceoff. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Into the corner of the attacking area. Quick pass to Matthews. Takes the shot, and he stands tall in goal. And they keep the pressure on. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Saucer feed. Moves it to Crisp. Toronto's on the attack. And now he angles it across to Matthews. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Couldn't complete the pass. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Picked up along the wall by Alexis. And play continues here. The Riders scoop it up along the boards. Toronto's got the puck against the half wall. Off a stick and they can't connect. Skates in behind the cage. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Oh, and he 
tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Matthews setting up against the wall. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Wagner. Jabs the puck away. Here he comes in on a breakaway. Oh, you're not going to get many chances better than this. It's you and the goaltender. This is when the coaches find out who's able to be trusted in a tight game. This one is not spread out yet, and this is going to go right down to the end of the wire. Crisp's got it in the corner. Let's it fly from the point. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Slides it across. James scoops it up here inside the defensive zone. Centering pass. Tried to pick his spot, but that goes off the side of the net. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Broken up by Alexis. A chance on goal. Air bails it. Did he ever? He's got to bring that down a couple of feet. And they won't connect on that one. Defensively, they're worn out. They can't get to the puck to clear the zone. Centering pass in front. Being stopped by the keeper. He's saving them again. There's a couple back-to-back -back saves. And we'll reset things after that icing. A critical draw here. Toronto's won the draw. Now you get cut side of the back of the And it breaks this tie, James. You know when these teams get locked up tight, sometimes it stays that way a long time. He got clear in the low slot found where the opening was and takes that pass to one time and pass the goalie. Toronto's got the one goal lead here in this third period. What's the strategy now in your mind, Coach? I don't think you change at all. I, I also don't know in today's game how you defend. Put Sonny for the hat trick! You gotta finish him off. The chances are there, but you still gotta put him away. It's a great play, and now we can celebrate his three-goal night. Now, would you ever wear one of those chapeaus? Not on a chance. Head? Would you wear someone else's hat? Absolutely not. Here in the late goings of the period, Toronto's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And that's offside, stopping the play. Centers gliding up to the face-off dots here. Play back underway. Oh, and a nice little move. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Crisp's got it in the offensive zone. Right on the doorstep. Moves it quickly over to McLeod. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here comes the call. The crew have put themselves shorthanded, tripping the call. Another power play opportunity coming up here. You can really only drop the power play so many times. The key is don't lose your confidence in it when it doesn't succeed. Just get right back to the basics of getting the puck to the net and people there at the same time. Drives to the sweet spot. Stopped with ease. Moves it on over to Matthews. Sends it across. And they can't connect. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. And he makes a save on that play. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. Alexis doesn't crack under pressure, guys. He's so good defensively, especially in one-on-one -on -one plays. That's his shutdown zone ability, and it brings confidence to the rest of the team knowing that he can handle it. Puck grab by Alexis. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Matthews will look to win the draw to continue this power play. Edmonton's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Quick feed to Alexis. Intercepted the pass. Picking up ahead of steam on the breakaway. And that's the hat trick. Listen to this place. And here come the hats. I love this tradition, although I will tell you, they collect the hats up. They used to give them to us, and you're like, what am I going to do? I'm not wearing somebody else's hat. 
Even though he doesn't pick up a point, guys, he was still able to make an impact on that play. He used his truculent zone ability to create the turnover with some body contact, and his team got right onto the attack and scored. And that was just a solid effort. Centering pass! Scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. He knew he had to settle that bobbling puck down before he could go on to score there, guys. That's his magnetic superstar ability. And he was able to corral it in and get control so he could make the next move there. That's a great first touch and a perfect way to cap off the play. Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. And that's just out of reach. Stoppage in play, offside the call. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. Face-off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Jackson's got the puck now in his own end. Scores! And that's the hat trick! To get it done on the road is a really special accomplishment. You're dealing with checkers, you're dealing with the line matchup, and it doesn't matter where you are, three is a great night. Toronto's won the draw in the neutral zone. That's all she wrote from this one. Close one on the scoreboard, but maybe not when it came to possession. I thought they were going to grind them into a pulp by the end of this thing. They had the puck, and they never seemed to let it out of their hands. They were full marks for their win.